you upload your questions and I download the answer. This is Chris D TV. Uh, excited to be here with you guys. I'm in San Diego. I'm here for a four-day conference, which starts tomorrow. Next week, off to Singapore. So just enjoying um, being here and getting into that. I really think that right now is the best time to start a business, and especially start a business uh, that's online. I mean, you can have so much freedom. I've had so many questions come in, and uh, you know, we only just started the Ask Chris D TV yesterday, and I was thinking to myself, like, I know I'm starting this now, but I thought, you know. It's interesting to think about the intention and where this is going to be in, say, a year or five years from now. And I thought to myself, wow, that's going to be so great. So here's what I want to put out for the intention for this show. I want this to be the place where people can come get motivation, inspiration, and education, where they can come and learn how they can create a life of their dreams. Not just the business that included, not just the money, not just the relationship, not just the spirituality, but all of it. Create a life that really matters, that's really epic. And I hope that I can help you and answer with all those questions. So we got started and I've been given some business questions. So I'll go straight into that. The first question is, how do you start a business when you have no college degree in business, but you are able to manage a business that isn't your own? I was told to go back to college, but I see many who started a business without a business degree. This is so important. And I wanna just make it really clear that the people that start companies don't have the same mentality or the same genius as people that grow companies. It's nearly like there's these these two separate things where there's some really great starters out there. And honestly, I think starters a lot of time get themselves caught in shiny object syndrome. So I think there's a lot of starters out there. It sounds to me that if you're able to manage and grow a business that wasn't your own, that you'd be best off finding somebody who's already started something, taking a profit share with this person and growing their dream. I think too many starters actually, they they think that they're worth more than they are in the business. The founder of a business, the person who actually created it, came up with the idea, needs to get over themselves a lot of times. They need people like you to be able to grow their company. On the other hand, I see so many great managers, technicians, engineers who try to go start something their own, and they just don't have that creative flair, that that spark, that thing that's actually going to get something started. I truly believe the first few things you need to be doing in your business is to be able to build an audience, to be able to build a captive audience, and to be able to turn the audience into buyers. And if that's not you, I think stick to your genius. You definitely do not need a business degree. I think you don't take advice from poor people. Don't go to the gym and uh, have a personal trainer who's overweight. So don't learn how to run a business by somebody who's in a job. Just flat. Just, you know, do not do that. So my advice is this, is start a business around your genius, which by the sounds of it sounds like you're already a genius at managing someone else's business. So why not start a management business? Why not start a consult, consulting uh, service around that? I mean, that's easy. I think sometimes we overlook uh, what it is that we're most genius at. And I think that if we were able to actually just be in our genius even more, that'd be good. So do that. <laughs> All right. Next question is, uh, kia ora Chris. That's our Maori people of New Zealand. Say hello. I know I'm from Wellington. Uh, here's my question. What's the best way to use social media uh, when you run a regional TV station? Great question. Um, and I mean, first off, um, awesome to hear that there's some New Zealanders uh, out there doing things, doing work, and wanting to use social media. I think the first thing is that uh, we don't need to think about ourselves as regional TV stations anymore. I mean, when it comes to using social media or different platforms, I mean, doesn't it make more sense to think of uh, what it is that you're offering or the value that you're giving to this world as something that you can offer even on a bigger or larger scale? I mean, if you're a regional TV station, um, what are you doing that's actually going to be able to be exciting for people not just of that region? Because that could be really interesting to put out there onto YouTube and everything else. Now, the thing is, is I always look at different parts of a business. And it sounds like you've got a good offering. You've got a regional TV station. And your job is to be able to get more people, more viewers to watch that show. So I would be starting uh, Facebook pages, Instagram pages, and be starting following for every single one of your shows. And I'd be directing traffic straight to those shows. 
I'd be having small promos, small clips of each show that are targeted directly towards the different people and that you want to actually engage in your show. I would have times, I would have replays, everything online so that it's all there. I think so many people are time poor. I mean, I don't turn on the TV at all. And the reason is, is because I know that I can just go onto the internet and find what I want. So my question is, is are you using the internet to actually stream your show? Uh, are you doing that yet? If not, let's get started. It's free, it's easy, it's simple. You can put it out there uh, very quickly. I mean, the media model is a good model. You grab people's attention and around it, you put advertising and you make money from that advertising. So my question is, is how can you use those people who are already giving advertising to maybe get some giveaways, to get some prizes, to get people attention onto your page, you see? If you're able to find a way to really get everyone to you know, work together and all be liking a page and, and giving away different things and, and having this one page for your regional show, I think the cut through will be huge. I, I really I really believe that if we can find that what's in it for them, people will create the viral content and share it out. If you can create engagement, if you can bring them in, if you can get them in one place, uh, then it's gonna it's gonna make all the difference. Uh, live streaming, live texting in, live tweeting in, all these things are going to add value and, in, and add engagement to what you're doing. So I love that. And I love the first two questions that we've got in. I get so many questions about being an entrepreneur and uh, I wanted to finish off today by just talking a little bit about the fact that entrepreneurism is the answer. Entrepreneurs create all the change in this world, and I'm so appreciative of all the entrepreneurs that are going to be listening to the show now and in the future. But I want you to know this, is that entrepreneur is a mastery. It's a skill set, and I'm not a master. I'm still learning. But you need to apply yourself. I see way too many people trying to start their business. I started my first company when I was 17, 11 years ago, and, and I've been in business for 11 years, and, and I'm still learning and shifting and, and doing a lot of things. So I've been lucky to, to have a few companies that have done millions and other things like that. But what I, what I really want to share with everybody out there is to don't expect results as quick as you think. Just, just really know that it's, gonna, it's a process and you're going to have to master it. Anyway, I love the questions. I hope that you enjoyed getting your questions answered. If you're out there watching this and you've got questions that you want to have answered, make sure you upload your questions. I'll download the answer. This is Chris DTV. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share this content. I'm here to support and help you to achieve your dreams and live with more freedom. Catch you on the next episode.